The symbol of Chinese prestige and naval might, aircraft carrier Lao Ning, appears to have some operational limitations, as per U.S. Navy commander. The reference included an encounter between USS Mustin and Lao Ning. Viewers may note that last year, USS Mustin tailed the Lao Ning in the disputed South China Sea and was able to photograph and observe the aircraft carrier from very close range. This is one of the most interesting run-ins between surface combatants of the two navies. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why U.S. Navy commander has stated that China's Lao Ning aircraft carrier has operating restrictions. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Well, recollecting the incident, Vice Admiral Roy Kitchener the commander of the U.S. Naval Surface Forces claimed the Chinese carrier was subjected to operating restrictions. He stated at the annual Surface Navy Association conference that U.S. crew members realized that at some point all the Chinese escorts sort of backed off because there's some operating restrictions that they had around the carrier. He added USS Mustin didn't have those restrictions. They proceeded on in, found a good station, and sat alongside taking pictures and doing other things for quite a bit of time. The captain and deputy commander of the USS Mustin sat side by side in one snap, watching the Lao Ning, which was only a few kilometers away. The captain had his feet up in a nonchalant pose as the pair laid their eyes on China's prized asset. The photo was extensively circulated throughout the world and perceived as a message to the People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN. Speaking at a press conference, Wu Chen, a spokesman for China's defense ministry, had criticized the U.S. for disrupting the military drill. Mr. Wu had claimed the U.S. vessel severely disrupted the aircraft carrier group led by the Lao Ning. He added that the destroyer's persistent close-range reconnaissance threatened the safety of vessels and crew and described the USS Mustin's actions as very vile in nature. The ease with which U.S. Navy personnel were able to photograph Chinese aircraft carriers was a key point of discussion last year. Lu Li Shi, a former instructor at Taiwan's Naval Academy in Kaohsiung was quoted by South China Morning Post as saying, The Lao Ning may have been busy with a complicated drill, allowing U.S. officers to take photos. Song Zhongping, a former Chinese military instructor, argued that the PLA followed pre-planned voyage routines, but the operational parameters of American crews were more flexible. Lu said, it's very common for warships to sail so close for parallel monitoring in unexpected counters at high sea, but it's rare for the captain and his deputy to sit together, showing that the Lao Ning gave the USS Mustin quite a lot of time to take the picture because of its operating restrictions. Lao Ning is actually built from a Soviet-era Kuznetsov-class carrier hull. The Kuznetsov-class aircraft carriers were the last class of aircraft carriers designed for the Soviet Navy. Two hulls were laid down in Ukraine before the Soviet Union collapsed. 
Kuznetsov is part of the Russian Navy. The other hull was purchased in 1998 by the People's Republic of China and towed to Dailane Shipyard in northeast China. After being completely rebuilt and undergoing sea trials, the ship was commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy. It has a displacement of around 60,000 tons and is conventionally powered. Lao Ning uses a ski ramp to assist aircraft takeoffs. Ski jump aircraft carriers have limitations regarding how much ordnance can be loaded onto the aircraft. For example, the J-15, when launched from the Lao Ning, can only carry 4,000 pounds of ordnance before it reaches its minimum airspeed requirement. Conversely, the F-18 Super Hornet can carry over 12,000 pounds of ordnance on a catapult aircraft carrier. The carrier OSIL doesn't carry aircraft like E-2C Hawkeye and EA-18G Growler. Northrop Grumman's E-2C Hawkeye is a carrier-capable AWACS aircraft that's primarily designed to give long-range warning of incoming aerial threats, whereas EA-18G Growler is an airborne electronic attack aircraft and is used for suppression of enemy air defense SEAD, particularly at the start and ongoing early stages of hostilities. The absence of these kind of specialized aircraft is a vital deficiency. China's muscle flexing has been persistent for a long time now. Time and again it's shown utter disregard for international laws and norms and threatens its neighbors. Liaoning aircraft carrier is being used as a tool by the Chinese Communist Party to intimidate rivals. China has been using physiological warfare on its much smaller neighbor. China's strategy relies on low intensity but constant and simultaneous small provocations at multiple pressure points. This serves to stretch thin the capabilities of nations like the Philippines and Vietnam to respond while limiting the risk of escalation to a manageable level. On that particular occasion, U.S. Navy took a leaf out of Chinese books and applied it against China. The pressure has exposed issues in Chinese aircraft carriers and the way they operate in the open ocean. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.